video tour of Greenhouse May 2016. We've got strawberries, lavender, um, both the strawberries, lavender and basil. We're not going to see if they're going from plants. I'm just planting up these lots of bigger troughs so they'll keep expanding together. We've got the ground cherry, not growing well in before. I'm trying taking a cutting of the rosemary in the garden and the lavender that I bought. It looks like it's doing better so far, but we'll see. But, um, to be honest, I kind of forgot what I planted here, but I think it's beetroot. So there may be some beetroots, um, just a few of them there, see how they do. They don't take long, anyway, a few months. Um, one chilli plant, a uh, lovely present from somebody who's also growing uh, chilli. So he gave me one and I gave him a pepper plant in return. Um, I've got another strawberry plant, I've got a very sad looking thyme plant that um, didn't get much light in the last place but it's starting to get some leaves back so hopefully it should, should come back to life. Another strawberry plant or maybe a pineberry plant, I've got, I had a pineberry plant last year and some of these strawberry plants are planted from runners um, so I've you know, been multiplying each year in strawberry plants. These are um, the Purple Ukraine tomato seedlings, they were the most delicious variety last year, but they really didn't um, produce much. There were about three tomatoes on the whole plant. This year I'll be picking out, pinching out the tomatoes rather, um, pinching out the leaves so that I hopefully get more tomatoes rather. And then down here we've got a lovely blueberry plant that I bought last year, I'm thinking it must be be about three years old just from the height of it um, so I guess I bought it when it was about two years old as you can see there are blueberries already forming in May because this is an early um, variety and it did very well last year so I'm planning to get some more blueberries to add to it because I think very few blueberry plants and you'd be self-sufficient in blueberries because they really are good good little producers and they're not annual so they just keep going each year so you don't have to do too much which is great although I may pot it out this year because it's you know more roots equals more fruits. Um, in here you can just about make out a olive tree sprouting um, the main olive tree died through lack of water um, and then I, I think I got bored uh, and planted some looks like wheat in there so there's some wheat uh, sharing a pot with a olive tree that's never produced any olives yet um, probably taking a lot of its nutrients but it also is putting some uh, materials back in you know collecting energy from the sun and then by leaving this stuff in here to degrade it's effectively composting itself in that pot um, that's an idea anyway that's a theory um, see how it does in the next few years Here's all my lovely, um, I think they're Romanescu, no, 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 that's the wrong fruit, sorry, uh, wrong fruit, wrong vegetable. These are pepper plants, um, they're the long sweet red ones, I can't remember what they're called. These seeds are actually grown from uh, organic red pepper uh, plants, uh, red peppers that I bought from Ocado, um, and the seeds you get, you know, just average about a hundred seeds her pepper, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, so as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm only growing sixteen, so I'm not even growing like hardly any seeds out of one pepper. And you can imagine if you were to plant up all the seeds from one pepper, well, you just wouldn't need to buy peppers ever again. Um, just keep going. Likewise, I've got some more tomatoes. Um, the bigger ones at the back, they've been giving bigger pots because I'm only growing one of each of those varieties. Um, so this first one is a, a white cherry. Um, I can't hear it what I'm it. What's this one? This one is a Florentino vine. Um, so there's lots of different varieties going on. Um, that might be a, is that a stupus. Oh no, it's a large purple green tomato, apparently. It's a very small start. <laughs> I'm planted the same size same time as them. Um, and then these ones are a little tray here of gardener's delights because they're small red cherry tomatoes that grew extremely well, very bountiful last year. So while I might not get much from the um, 
purple Ukraine, the flavour will be amazing and then I'll get far more in quantity from these Gardener's Delights uh, that lived up to their name last year. Okay, so I think that's the tour of the greenhouse as stands right now. Um, obviously it changes throughout the year. So see you again next time. And I hope you're enjoying your gardening too. Again, bye.